My name is Marcella Lobo. I'm the product manager of OneQA. I'm gonna show you in just a few seconds how to run your first procedure on OneQA. So this is your home. The first thing that you do is connect your Fluke equipment to your computer using the USB port. I've connected my ESA and my Impulse. Then I go to the Procedures tab and download all the sample procedures we have in our library. You can select any procedures just to see. In the top right here, I select Run Procedure. So my devices are connected and I will add my work order that I want to send the results to. And all I have to do is press play. Now, as you can see, the auto populate feature will appear. And all I have to do is follow the instructions that are prompted by our software. And I get the check or the fail notice on my report. As you can see now, I'm changing to impulse testing. And over here, you will see the fail sign as it does not go through the correct limits. And I'm also continuing. And now I'll be the charge time component and we'll quickly go through and auto populate the test results into my report. And over here, as you can see, we're number eight, seven, it quickly goes through. This is actually my favorite component just because I really like seeing the checks. And over here, I'll press play and the count will start. And instead of having to do it on my clock or my watch, great. Now I just select yes here. I did use repair parts and I also want to close that work order. So now there's the last important step and all I have to do is press done. And now you will see in just a few seconds, your report will be completed. And if I'm interested in approving it, which I will, all I have to do is either connect it to my CMMS or I will find the test results over here that have just been completed. So as you can see, my test results have been loaded here, 245. And here is the report we just completed. It was a fail and I completed it today. Thank you. This is how you can run a procedure on one QA.